No my heart and Mikey Pangaro. Welcome to Maths and welcome to the video explainer uh, for the different transformations of uh, parabolas written in the vertex form. So let's go through and have a look at these and what all these do. First we're going to look at here is this negative sign and the role of this negative sign is it makes our parabola inverse. So what that means is our parabola is going to be upside down. It's going to be a sad face, sad face as opposed to a smiley face. So this negative sign here flips it upside down. Nice easy way to remember it. Negative means we end up with a sad face. Oh, sad face means we've got a positive or a no symbol there. It means we've got a, an upside, yeah, a parabola up the right way. So more of a smiley face. So that's our inverse. Uh, that's our inverse transformation. And secondly, here in the orange, we've got our scale factor. So what the scale factor does is it makes our parabola a wider or thinner depending on uh, whether the value is a larger than one or less than one so in this case here because we've got a scale factor that is higher than larger than one what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with a thinner parabola whereas if we had a scale factor less than one we'd end up with a wider parabola so that's our scale factor second of all we've oh, sorry third of all here in the red we have our horizontal transformation what's going to happen here is this is going to move the parabola from uh, to left or right from where it would ordinarily be. So in this case here, because uh, it is a positive, it is going to move it to the negative, whereas if it was a negative, say a negative 3 or a minus 3, it would move it into the positive. So sort of the opposite of what you'd expect there uh, initially. So that is our horizontal transformation, uh, the transformation that moves our parabola left or right, depending on whether it's positive or negative and depending on whether it's, uh, and shifts it left or right certain distance depending on what the value is. And last but not least, in the green here, we have our vertical transformation. This is the part of the vertex formula that shifts the parabola up or down. So because we've got a minus 4 here, it's going to shift the vertex down. If we had a positive 4, it would shift it up. So this is the part of the formula that, it, that, is, that uh, moves the parabola up or down vertically. So just to recap, you've got your uh, you've got your inverse part, part that uh, leaves it up the right way or flips it upside down, so it makes it either instead of a positive or a negative, a sad face or a happy face. You've got your scale factor, which uh, affects the uh, the width of the parabola. Uh, more than one means it's going to be thinner. Less than one means it's going to be wider. You've got your horizontal transformation that shifts it left or right, and then you've got your vertical transformation that shifts it up or down. Let's have a look at these. Uh, let's have a look at these actually in uh, and what they do when you actually look at it in terms of the graph. So here is our uh, here is our graph for the parabola that we spoke about. So y equals minus two uh, brackets x plus three squared minus four. So first of all, you can see that as a result of this, it is inverse. So you can see uh, that it is upside down. So it is a sad face. Um, this is a thinner parabola than what we'd expect, and we'll see the effect of that in a moment. Uh, you can see that the vertex has been shifted 3 to the negative in terms of its x. So you can see that the vertex is at negative 3 here. That's as a result in terms of x and that's as a result of this transformation there, or this part of the formula. And last but not least, this vertical transformation means that the vertex is at minus 4. So it's shifted the whole thing down. So this part here is in charge of shifting it up or down. Let's have a look at um, the effects of the uh, of the negative here. So this is our formula we looked at, and this is what it would be if it didn't have that inverse. So you can see you've got that positive, you've got that smiley face. So if we remove that, you can see the difference, distinct difference between these two graphs. Uh, one is that smiley face. This is without the negative, and this is with the negative. So I'm not sure if I can get that. So that's the effect of the inverse. Let's have a look at the effects of the scale factor. You can see this one here is minus 2. This one here is simply minus. And so you can see what we've got here is we've got a wider graph because this negative 2 makes it thinner. If we made this into a negative 1.5, so a value less than 1, you can see we've got a wider graph here. Okay. Let's have a look at the effects of our vertical transformation. So you can see the plus 3 there, and then if we remove it here, you can see, sorry, uh, you can see that it's shifted to the right. So this is our horizontal transformation. So you can see that the graph hasn't been shifted. There's no horizontal transformation here. So it is a round uh, with a mirror line 
on our y-axis. And last but not least, our vertical transformation, so minus 4, without that vertical transformation, it is going to be back, so its vertex is at y equals 0. So you can see the significant difference there between those two with their different um, with their different heights. You can see how this one here has moved it further down, this one here has stayed with a vertex at y equals 0. So those are our four different transformations. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have our inverse, comes from our negative sign here, we've got our scale factor, which comes from our value out here, sometimes called the A value. Uh, this is our horizontal, uh, this is our horizontal transformation, which comes from our value here inside the bracket, doing the sort of opposite of what we'd expect, positive, negative, negative, negatively positive. And this is our vertical transformation, doing what we would expect it, the uh, positive shifts the whole thing up and the negative shifts the whole thing down. Hopefully you understood that and followed. Um, well done, and I'll see you guys again next time.